Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Tripp. Today I want to talk to you about some things we can do to take care of the bathrooms and keep it clean. You may have noticed that we got new soap dispensers over winter break installed in all the bathrooms. And the way this new soap works, you only need one squirt. So I want everybody to remember that, just one squirt of soap because it gives you a whole bunch. Also, when you're pushing here to get one squirt, I want you to do it gently. It comes out very easily, so there's no need to hit it. So I'm going to get my one squirt, and look how much I got. That's a whole bunch. That's plenty to wash my hands with. I also want to talk to you about the sink. After you wash your hands, and all the soap's gone, what I want you to do is to leave your hands over the sink and shake the water off in the sink instead of dripping it on the floor. So make sure that the water goes in the sink and then you go over to the hand dryer. And you can help us out with the hand dryer if you push it gently too. Because when you push on it really, really hard, it gets stuck and it won't turn off. So I'm really excited about our new soap and you can help by using one squirt and then you can help keep the floor dry if you let the water go in the sink instead of dripping it over to the dryer. Now I'm going to talk to you about the potties. Okay, now we're going to talk about the commodes. And this commode is one that flushes by itself. It does it automatically because it has the button here. And when you walk out and the door closes, it'll flush. But if it doesn't flush, you can always push the button right here, like that, and it will flush. Please always make sure that the commode flushes before you leave. We have two kinds of commodes. This one has a handle. It won't flush by itself, and sometimes that gets confusing because some of them do it by themselves and some don't. So always check, and if it has a handle, Please make sure that you push the handle and flush each time. Thank you, and now we're going to move downstairs and look at our new wax floor in the cafeteria. Hi boys and girls, we're in the cafeteria, and I want to talk to you about the floor that's in the walkway here joining kindergarten and third grade. Over the winter break, Miss Wanda and her husband Hubert worked really hard to wax this area of the cafeteria. And when they wax it, it makes it really slick and your tennis shoes make marks on the floor. And what's happening is, um, is every morning Miss Wanda is having to spend a lot of time cleaning the marks up on the floor because she wants it to stay all shiny and pretty like it was on Monday when we got here after the break. So you can help Miss Wanda keep the floor clean by cleaning up your marks on the floor and also being careful about how you walk in your tennis shoes because if you scrape it really hard it's going to make a mark and we don't want to make marks on the waxed floor but if you do make a mark all you have to do is rub it with your shoe and it will come off like this is a blue mark somebody has some blue tennis shoes that are blue on the bottom and you can clean it up by rubbing it with your shoe and that will help Miss Wanda. That wasn't very hard for me to do, but if you've got like 50 of those marks to clean up every morning, it gets really, really hard. So you can help us by trying not to make marks. And if you do, if you could just clean it quickly with your shoe, that will help Miss Wanda. Thank you.